On this episode of Raj Talking Drums, I'm going to be talking with Ed Clift, representative for Peisty Symbols since 25 years. We'll be covering a brief overview of Peisty's history, sampling many of Peisty's revered and unique sounds, and get to know more about Ed's work with drummers and percussionists all over the world. You'll get to see Ed in action behind his drum set, demonstrating various applications of Peisty Symbols, sounds, and gongs. Early on, people used to individually just walk into the store and say, hey, I need something. Isn't that how it happened initially? And they'd actually just hand hammer it right on site? Yeah, in the earliest days, um, you know, an individual would ask for a symbol and Mikhail would, would uh, produce that symbol. You know, even though the musical environment was so very different in those years than today, uh, the fundamentals of the music asking for a given symbol is, is kind of what happens. And the drum set is a relatively new instrument in the grand scheme of things. Uh, the formative years of the drum kit as such saw a lot of development and a fairly rapid pace too. And when a drummer would accent or punctuate a musical phrase with a small thin cymbal, it had a splashy sound and hence it called a splash. The thing is, in the early years, uh, especially like in the 30s, uh, the 40s, cymbals were largely made in a more of a happenstance uh, manner. Symbol makers were relying on accidental results. And, and really the proof of that is how cymbals would be shipped to the shop without a stamp on there identifying it as a ride or a crash or, or what have you. And the symbol maker would send the symbols into the shops with a set of rubber stamps. Okay. And it would be up to the shop owner and the drummer to decide what kind of symbol that was. And to this day, certainly drummers associate a certain sound with a certain name. Uh, the names of symbols have become just all over the map, you know, different names mean different things to different drummers. Like a fast crash has a really fast response. That fast crash has, has become uh, a bit of a benchmark in terms of how symbols are identified. And Peisty has done a lot of hard work to demystify some of that uh, sort of proprietary terminology as well. By the way, the, the main difference in price between symbol lines have to do with A, uh, the amount of time it takes to make the symbol, and B, the number of models and sizes that are available in that line. When a line has a broad range of models and sizes, such as the 2002s, it contributes greatly to the production of that line. 
compared to, for example, the PST-5, which is the same material. It's a 2002 family of sound. It's the same alloy. The production method with the PST-5 is automated. So it takes uh, exponentially more time to handcraft the 2002, and there's a great many more models and sizes available on that line. So that is largely uh, what the difference in price comes from between symbol lines. Okay. I love the PST-5s, by the way. You know, the alloy is just amazing. And this symbol, that was a really full-sounding symbol. There's so much variety in the different styles of symbols you offer. I think that's completely amazing. And, and like we talked about earlier, that you named specific models for the way they sound. I think that's really cool. Well, the next episode, we have to get deep into both the 20 series and the Alpha Brilliance, which are a whole story unto themselves. And we've seen a lot of development with the Alpha line and a lot of acceptance by top international drummers. So that's a, a really great success story these days at Peisty. Well, Ed, I just want to thank you so much. This is a dream come true for me. I cannot believe what we got set up here. I cannot believe your performances over the weekend. Uh, this is amazing. I just can't thank you so much for taking the time to do this and talk so much about the Peisty history, the product, and demonstrate so much of this for people to hear. Well, it's been my privilege to be here with you, Paul, and it's a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to doing the next episode. Thank you very much. The Peisty family has entrusted me with very many opportunities for which I'll forever be indebted. My experience with Peisty has been an adventure, and there's no reason to believe the best is behind me. Applying a lifetime of musical experience to learning the language of drummers, and more specifically the language of cymbal sound, has often paid off in this work. Suffice to say that turning student drummers on to how even the least expensive Peisty cymbals can provide a satisfying sound and function, and working with the most advanced drummers and percussionists around our most expressive instruments are equally rewarding. The latest gems from Peisty include our new Swiss Crashes, the exquisite 20 Masters collection, a trip back to the roots with the reintroduction of Formula 602, and the 2002's 40th anniversary. After all these years, I still enjoy helping inquisitive drummers discover that elusive comfort zone in their cymbal sound, or demystifying for musicians and non-musicians alike the most user-friendly instruments of them all. Gongs. 12 years uh, or more, he's a great drummer. Well, as a representative of, of Peisty Cymbals, you also do drum clinics yourself. Can you tell me a little bit about putting on a clinic? Well, I've been involved in doing a lot of that type of activity since the middle 80s. It's a really interesting part of my job. I really enjoy it. Uh, it gives me a chance to interact directly with all manner of uh, drummers and percussionists. There's just so many incredible drummers and percussionists out there. You know, I feel like I'm at my best when I'm a student, and, you know, it's a good example because when I do those kinds of things, workshops or clinics, um, oftentimes I feel like I'm le I learn more than uh, maybe they do, and uh, I always look forward to being there to learn from those drummers. What is the true function of a clinic? Well, it's really, and what I do mostly is teach drummers about Peisty cymbals and, and sounds and showing them specific application of sounds. It's a pretty deep thing that Peisty brings to the party, so you need to connect the dots for people and fill in the blanks a little bit, as it were, and uh, that, that's what I do. Well, how much can you put in here if you're going to go on a clinic? I mean, how much stuff can you get in this plane? Well, I, you know, I guess I can take... Uh, all the weapons and gels and about 800 pounds of cymbals I want on this and don't have to worry about uh, security or uh, the carry-on or whatever but it has its limitations. Um, I can only take a certain volume of, of things in here. I, I can't fit any anything bigger than a 38 inch gong in, in the Dakota but um, I have been known to take a, a lot of stuff around it. You know, most recently we did a watershed event in Memphis called the Symbol Summit at a place called the Memphis Drum Shop, and I, and I took the back seats out. In fact, uh, the airplane's configured that way right now uh, to haul around a lot of instruments. 